Welcome back to Satisfactory. I am looking at the supercomputer blueprint for the computer complex. And I'm realizing that this blueprint is really only set up for three inputs. And there's a reason for it. If we try to put a fourth one here, there's no way it's gonna allow that angle. All right, ideally you'd use this one, but it's just gonna claim it's too steep. So we're gonna have to think of another way to make this work. One thing that we could do is instead of lining it up right in front, we could go to the edge of the blueprint. All right, same direction, but Let's see if this little wiggle will even work. All right, well, that's something. Okay, well, that was easy. So we just moved this over one block and now we can access all three. Interestingly enough, it is going to require us to send things down the line and then send them back. But that's superior to any other option. And the reason why I like this even more is because it still remains a 3 by 4 blueprint. Uh-oh. So it still remains a three by four blueprint. So it, it's a little bit more compact. So we'll do the same thing up here. You know, if your initial concern is like having good belt shapes, that's how you end up with the splitter right in front of this. But if you're concerned, oh geez. How am I making these empty crates? Oh well, it doesn't matter. If it's, uh, if you need to have all four items filled in the blueprint, then you might have to allow for some interesting belt shapes. And honestly, that's pretty good. It's an S, basically. So that was it. That was just a quick video to, do, to talk about um, modifying manufacturer blueprints to include four items easily. And then as these are stacked next to each other, side by side, you just have your main bus go down this way. Same up there, and then the items get distributed. Thanks for hanging out. I'll make use of this video later today when we go and put the supercomputers in the computer complex. See you then.